finally, the YouTube tech guy has come back. Home. Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mobile Weekly slash Mobile Q&A. We go over all the latest news that happened during the week of mobile and answer your questions live. Sorry for missing last week, but, you know, had this whole thing, you know, wife gave birth and just had to, you know, deal with that. So, uh, yes, uh, Alexander is now a week old. It's been a heck of a week. I remember, I don't remember what sleep was, but, you know... That, there that goes uh but definitely just an amazing time and uh thank you for all the amazing shout outs that i got and everything um on the baby pictures uh thank you so much but now let's get to the news again if you have a question you want to ask just ask it in the comment section down below and i will answer it before the end of the show but now let's get to the topic that i'm going to talk a little bit about because, oh my god, when I saw this, I completely said, if Samsung does this, they will destroy Apple next year. I do not think this will happen, to be fair. I do not. But if they put all their cards out there, this would be so far ahead of anything Apple has planned next year that it would just disrupt the industry. I truly do believe that. I'm not exaggerating it. So... What this is, is the very thing that I said would end up fixing the notch. And you can see that if you go back to our videos on the notch problem, this is the concept that I wanted. And that is full screen on the front. Just make the entire screen in the front full screen. You do not need a camera on the front at all. Then on the back of the phone, you have about a 3.5 to 4 inch display with all of your primary cameras. You can have your wide angle, you could have your telephoto, you could have your regular, you could have the TF camera, you could have all that stuff. And then you have the very best front facing camera because it'll be the rear facing camera. Match this up with the 108 megapixel camera that Samsung is releasing next year with the way better f-stop with the way better Micron. It's just going to it would it would take over. It would truly take over. But one, I don't think Samsung has the guts to do it. And two, I honestly think that it would be such a risk that they would be afraid of it. And even though it would sell well, the demand would be so hard to keep up with. The Note, for instance, is the one they typically have done riskier things with, simply for the fact that that one doesn't sell as much as the S series. The S series is the top selling phone that Samsung has every year. The Note series is really good, but it costs more, so not as many people buy it. If Samsung did this, I don't care if they wanted to merge this, I don't care if they wanted to call this a Note 2, you know, call it the Note 11 with the S11 launch. Have a regular S11, a S11 E, and instead of a Plus, have the Note 11 with this kind of design, it would sell like crazy. Let me know in the comment section, what would you think of this device? What do you think about this? And people have asked me this before, what about cases? What about all that kind of stuff? One, skins are getting more and more popular. Two, manufacturers that have done this have brought a bumper with it. So it could have a bumper. That is all you really need. You can get glass screen protectors and bumpers and you're set. Uh, yes, you could put a case as well if you really did want to. The case, uh, what it could do is basically be a clear case and then just have an opening just like you would for the camera. And then if it falls flat, you're hitting the case part, not the screen part. It has been done in other cases. It could be done in this one. It's just the same kind of hole you would have for the camera punch out you have for the screen. I completely do believe in this concept. I completely think this would just be perfect. And again, this is a patent that Samsung has done, which again, lots of patents are always done. So we don't know if this will be anywhere near what could be. But this is something that has been done by Xiaomi. It's something that's been done by Nubia. It has been done before. We've had it on this channel. And I truly do believe that this would be a risk, but it would sell like no other. It would be so far ahead of anything that's happening in the Western Hemisphere 
that it would just dominate. Those are my thoughts. Let me know again your thoughts. Do you think this concept would be great? Would you get it? Let me know. The sound is off. Let me know if the sound is off. Someone's saying uh, the sound is off. Please let me know in the comments right now. I just want to make sure that uh, the sound quality is good. I know we have had those issues in the past. Uh, until someone lets me know, I'll continue with the next bit of news. But yeah, let me know in the comment section if the sound is off. It is off sync. Gonna check the mic right now, just making sure. I can't play with the delay too much, but. Sound works, sounds good. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I guess it's a little off sync, I'll try to fix that later. All right, uh, now let's get to the Pixel. And we do know everything about the Pixel. I think the only thing we truly don't know is the price point yet. And a lot of people keep saying, oh, Google's, Google's gonna do something big, they're gonna do something crazy, no one's gonna guess what it is. This happened last year. And when everyone thought that, we got exactly what all the rumors were, exactly what all the leaks were. So I'm sorry, I don't buy it. I this we're getting everything that we've been rumored, we're getting everything that we've seen, and that's just the way it is. It, it really sucks because it kind of has taken all the oomph out of it. Um, if I were Google, I would have done the announcement earlier. At this point, uh, everything is leaked on this device, and it sucks for them. But it just it sucks. Okay, but let's get to, so first of all, we have some of the things. So one, we have the face unlock, which this will now be, I believe the first, I'm not sure if Samsung, I think the iris scanner might've been the first one to do with the eyes, but this will be the first one that is accepted across Android for a face unlock in order to pay for anything. So you can use this to pay in the app store and you're gonna be able to use this for banks and things like that, just like you do for iOS with the face unlock. So that is something that I'm really glad that's coming to it. And again, I'm really curious to see what all this Google stuff is gonna be about with the swipe and gesturing and all that kind of stuff. So let me know what you guys think about this that is going to happen. Uh, the Pixel will have, of course, uh, the 90 Hertz refresh rate that has become popular on certain phones, such as the OnePlus and the uh, Magic uh, Red Magic 3. And also it's going to come in different colors. So we see the orange one. We have the white one, which I kind of like. It's kind of like the new Panda, I guess, because it has a black trim and then it has a black camera part. And then the just black, uh, of course. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. I personally feel like I want to get the white one out of all of them, but let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section. It's funny because I've actually gotten white on all the latest smartphones. So I want to keep this trend going, actually. I have the white on the Note. And when I got the iPhone 11 Pro, I did also get the white one, which I, I'm really liking, except for those cameras. Uh, I'm really liking the way the white's looking now, so I kind of want to get the trifecta and get the white one out of these, but we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Now, speaking of what I was talking about earlier, Nubia is not that uh, big in the US. I love their Red Magic 3 device, but it's not as big in the US. The Nubia Z20 is going to be a device that's coming to the US in October. I'm gonna reach out to them to see if we can get this device because I really think it would do very well here. It's gonna be coming in at 525, at least we believe. Uh, it should be around that price range, uh, possibly 600, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, what it is going to have is the Snapdragon 855. It's gonna have eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. So for these price, I mean, for under 600 to have these specs, it's gonna be very interesting. Uh, you're also gonna have a 6.4 inch display with the main display and then a 5.1 inch on the other side. Uh, 48 megapixel camera, so the same one everyone's using right now. 16 megapixel uh, wide camera and then an eight megapixel telephoto camera with a 4,000 milliamp battery with a 27 watt PD charger inside that does support quick charge 4.0. I really like these specs. Uh, so yeah, I'm very interested in this. 
128 gig storage, 8 gigs of RAM, 4,000 milliamp battery with 855. This is going to be really good. And again, the only thing I worry about is their cameras. I like it because again, the main camera, sorry, there's a fly in here. Uh, the main camera is your rear camera. That's the absolute best thing to do. Uh, I feel like if this camera gets the, um, the Pixel camera software, I think this is going to be one of the best smartphones of the year. And I'm not over exaggerating that. That really is a difference, a game changer and different style that I think really could uh, go well, especially if it's, I, I wonder what kind of skin it's gonna be. That's the biggest thing. I wonder if it's gonna be more stock Android. I think that'll do much better in the US. We will have to wait and see though how they treat it. And hold on one second. Now this was talked about a lot. This is the Xiaomi Mi, uh, Mi Mix Alpha 180% screen to body ratio. Uh, I, and I just love this because I was just like, I was laughing so hard about this uh, phone when Xiaomi announced that. They're like, which smartphone is gonna be the first to get to 100% screen to body ratio? Meanwhile, Xiaomi's like, hold my beer. And uh, they did 180%. Now, if you haven't seen this phone, this phone is basically all display. It is, it, the display literally wraps around the entire phone and I don't like it. I, I know that might be, seem counterintuitive because I was just talking about two and two displays, but the point is I feel you need some kind of side. I, I, I'm a big believer, like you need to grip it. And I don't feel that having a display all the way around does that, I, I, I don't know. This is a concept device that they will be selling, but it really is just, I don't know, guys. I, I, I'm excited for phones that have dual displays. I'm not excited for phone for a wraparound display. I just don't like it. I don't care for it. Let me know what you guys think. I really just believe that, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I, I, it looks like MKBHD is going to be getting it. Uh, Xiaomi reached out to him and he was very excited for it. It's two thousand. It's about almost three thousand uh, dollars with taxes and everything. So yeah, if you thought the Galaxy Fold was expensive, um, but yeah, it is what it is. I don't really care for it just because I feel like you need some place to grip, and I don't feel that this phone offers it. Really cool. It definitely will stand out. Definitely is a wow factor. But for me, it's just not what I'm looking for. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section. AirPod 3s might finally be coming out and people that bought AirPods 2 this year will probably be upset about that. But we'll wait and see. Uh, it, it's because it was in the 13.2 beta. They showed an image that looked like a le previous leak that had happened. And we'll wait and see if that happens. This was the image. And beforehand, this was leaked like a couple months ago. So obviously this seems to kind of confirm it. Uh, I do think that Apple needs noise cancellation. I'm sorry, but Apple AirPods are garbage in my opinion. They just do not sound anywhere near as good as other uh, true wireless headphones. Obviously for me, they're not even as good as the Galaxy Buds. It's not to mention, of course, the Top Dog, which is the Jabra headphones. And I'm currently testing out these new Creative, which sound really good audio quality. So lots of different ones out there that I think are much better than the AirPods. And if this only increases the AirPods price to 250 or $240, for me, it's a non-starter, but I get it for the W1 chip or the W2 chip right now, I think it is. Um, it's good for syncing and that's great. Speaking of true wireless headphones, it looks like LG is trying to get back in this game of headphones. The Tone headphones were like the reigning kings forever with the neckband design, but LG hasn't really made a splash since. So Tone plus free, I'm gonna reach out to LG and see if we can review these. Would you guys be interested? I know there are another true wireless headphones, which, you know, there's so many now, but would you be interested in me reviewing this one? I'm really kind of curious to see how the quality is on it. I mean, I used to love the tones back in the day. Some of them had some issues for sure, depending on the year, but I would be interested to see how LG is doing on their non-smartphone stuff and more on the audio uh, side. So uh, I thought this was important because it looks like T-Mobile has finally clinched the FCC approval. So supposedly, and we've said this before, the merger could happen as soon as next week. Could. I still don't think it's gonna happen until the beginning of next year, 
but we'll have to wait and see. I, I would love for this merger to just be complete, to be done, all wrapped up in a nice bow, but we'll have to wait and see. I, I really do hope this merger takes place because Sprint really needs it. Sprint's really hurting right now uh, because they are trying to do as cheap as possible plans because no one wants to go to Sprint right now. So they're trying to do as cheap possible plans as they possibly can just so people sign up and it's not going to work if they're just going to end up losing money, which is what happened the last time they were really cutting prices like this. And a really interesting thing that Samsung did. So Samsung is not connected with a bank like Apple is with their new Apple credit card. Uh, but what Samsung did get going was a prepaid card. So this prepaid card can be used with Samsung Pay. I would totally get a Samsung Pay credit card just because of the fact that if they had a really much better point system, kind of like how Apple does now, with buying their products and their kind of stuff, oh man, would I be making money with uh, just all the stuff I buy directly from Samsung every year. Um, but yeah, so this is cool. It's a prepay card. You can use it, you know, on your phone or you can use it virtually online for those except uh, Samsung Pay. Obviously, Samsung Pay is not as big online as it is in stores. If you didn't know, Samsung Pay is accepted everywhere you can swipe your credit card as opposed to Apple Pay or Google Play where you need NFC in order for it to work. Samsung Pay can use the any credit card swipe terminal. So yeah, I this is an interesting move. I think it's kind of a temporary move until they can partner with a bank, hopefully, uh, to get a much better sense of how they can actually be a bigger player like Apple is. And I believe Google will do the same too. I, I think what Apple started will be followed by Samsung and Google, uh, just because why wouldn't you have a credit card to go along with your service of paying your credit card on your phone more so than anything, just because of the rewards points that I think would do very well. All right, and lastly, I just wanted to throw this in because I'm like, why Google? Uh, apparently Google is thinking about acquiring TikTok. If you don't know, TikTok is like a thing for, I, I always say, I always don't like the word millennials now because technically I'm a millennial and I'm not who people think of when they think of millennials. Uh, basically, you know, people that are young kids right now and from middle school to uh, early college years and that demographic uses TikTok, I would say more than anyone. And basically it's really quick, fun, very animation heavy, very uh, fun, filter heavy, uh, few second videos. And Google's thinking about acquiring it. Why? I don't know. Um, quite frankly, Google Plus was obviously a mess. Um, and Google should not do this. <laughs> uh, quite frankly, I, I think TikTok will be kind of going away uh, just like other ones. Uh, I mean, maybe it could have a little bit lasting power like Snapchat does where it lasted longer and then it will eventually die too. But we'll have to wait and see. I think, you know, Vine and all these other ones were uh, in a sense kind of like TikTok where it had, it had a following for a while and then it didn't change and then it got up and went away. All right, guys, that was the news for the week. Now let's get to your questions in the comment section. If you have a question you want to ask, just ask it in the comment section down below and I will answer it before the end of the show. All right, we've got a good amount of questions so far. I liked it already uh, and you didn't even start. Thank you for the like, thumbs up. If you do like this shows, uh, doing it every week, like thumbs up really helps out the channel. So if you can give it a like thumbs up, I really do appreciate it. All right, um, let's go. I need to go to sleep. All right, I started. Uh, they must, uh, the baby must be up. The baby is always up. No, actually she's sleeping pretty good. I, I, I will say I am fortunate because of the fact that, yeah, my baby, uh, my baby sleeps pretty well. Um, that background's fake, right? What, you don't think I can knock on this? Um, if you could get one free, which one would you get? No 10 plus or iPhone 11? No 10 plus easily, not even comparison to me, but I mean, it depends on who you're asking really. October iPad announcement will be OLED. I'm hearing. I would be surprised if Apple would 
make it OLED just because I feel like they would have to raise the price, which they're already probably going to raise the price. So maybe, I mean, uh, actually, you know what? Samsung really doesn't make OLEDs in China anymore. They've kind of closed down all their factories in China. So it actually might be cheaper with the tariffs coming for iPads to become OLED because even though they're charging like $30 more with the tariff in place for a China LCD, it might actually could be something there. But we'll, we'll see. Um, if they do, I do think the price will be raised. Ricky, I need a smartwatch without health apps, uh, true and true wireless uh, earbuds with a case that wirelessly charge. Uh, swipe controls included volume. Okay. Um, so I need a smartwatch without health apps. Um, I mean, smartwatches in general, it depends on what you're really looking for. Uh, we just got in, which I haven't unboxed even yet, the Active 2 watch. So that's a really great one from Samsung. The Active 1 comes to mind. Yes, it has uh, health stuff, but it just really depends on what you're looking for. Also, what phone do you have too? Um, Samsung will work for any device, but obviously it works better for Android phones than it does for iOS. Um, obviously, if you're on iOS, you should get an Apple Watch. Um, the other one, don't know if I have it in here. I think this is it. I think this is it. The Huawei uh, GT Watch. Uh, this one is a really good one that I would recommend. Uh, Huawei made a really long lasting battery life. I think this lasted for over a week. So if you just want good notifications for a smartwatch, I think that's a really great one to go with. Uh, the Huawei GT uh, watch, I think it was called. Whoa, whole bunch of questions uh, loaded. And we got a super chat from Mike Jat for my brother, R-I-C-K-Y, new baby. Thank you so much, Mike. I really appreciate the super chat. Um, definitely always appreciate it anytime uh, anyone does super chat. So thank you very much. All right, let's get back to the questions. Oh, and you wanted wireless uh, headphones with touch based. Um, I would say there's three that come to mind. The Galaxy Buds uh, are probably, Galaxy Buds have swipe, right? I think they do. God, it's been so long. I haven't used them for a while because I've been using the Jabra and then I started using the new creative ones. Uh, but those are the ones that come to mind. I, I'm almost positive they have swipe uh, still. Um, then we have the other ones, which are the Sony's. Those are really big right now. Uh, the MX3 Sony True Wireless Headphones. Those would definitely be one to look for. And the new ones that are coming out that apparently the swipe gestures are really good uh, is going to be the... What was it? Um, the Surface Buds, I think they're called. They're the new Microsoft ones. The Galaxy, though, are believe are the only ones that can wirelessly charge. I don't know if the Sony ones can or the Surface ones can. So those I would try to look up, but yeah. Um, S11 or Galaxy Fold. iPhone isn't going anywhere. Uh, and most people that like iPhones could care less about Android devices, including Samsung. I don't think you're right about that, actually. I think there is a strong majority of true Apple diehards, but the kind of rule is always this. A customer walks into a store, whether it be AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, Best Buy, whatever. 20% of them are gonna be Samsung no matter what. 20% of them, or sorry, sorry, change that. 40% are going to be iPhone no matter what, 40% are going to be Samsung no matter what, and the remainder of 20% can be shifted. But in those other ones, like the other one, 20% is going to be open to whatever, right? They're just looking for a better deal. They're looking for whatever kind of thing. They don't mind switching. But I would say around 10% of iPhone users and Samsung users that are going in there, going for the Samsung or the iPhone, would take a look 
if they saw something truly impressive with something else. So the 20% that are open, you can switch to whatever you want. And the 10% each of iPhone and Samsung can be shifted if there is a wow factor. Trust me, I've seen it. I've worked in every kind of retail environment you can think of. I've done marketing for most of those companies as well. So yeah, they can be flipped. They can be changed. And that is pretty much where you can really change it. That is 20 to 40% of the market that can be flipped if there is a wow factor and if it's exciting enough. You have to have that wow factor. You have to have that initial craze. Because remember this, when the iPhone 1 and 3 and 3S were out, nothing was challenging them until the Galaxy S3. Galaxy S3 hit a lot of, of the things that it needed to hit, and it had the best marketing out in the industry at that point. So yeah, it can be done. Is it common? Absolutely not. There's a reason why there's hardly ever a paradigm shift in this market. It's because there hasn't been that wow factor for a while now. There's been ones that have tried it, things like wide angle lenses that have been really great uh, things. Waterproofing's been really big. Wireless charging been really big. These are the kind of things that have gotten us really excited. The night shot from Pixel last year. These are the things that kept getting us excited, but nothing that completely did a paradigm shift and really had a craze. This could be the thing that does it. I found the fold in the Samsung store in NYC. I must, ad I must admit I liked it. So, um, I will say this, I did have a very interesting experience. Uh, I did have a friend, a fellow YouTuber that did have the Galaxy Fold. And while we were hanging out for like in less than an hour, I played around with the Fold the entire time. I was just like playing around with it. We were talking about all these cool things and all that stuff, but I was really fixated on the Fold. Using the Fold, I will say this. My first initial thought was because it was someone else's, I felt like extra cautious and I was worried about the fragileness of the device like I, I was just like I cannot mess this up because if I if I if I bend it too hard or push the screen too hard or something goes in there this is a two thousand dollar phone that I don't even own like so I was very very cautious uh and up to the point where I didn't feel comfortable really using it following that up do I love how big the display is? Absolutely. Absolutely. I really loved how big the display was. I loved just the feel of it. Uh, is it heavy? Yes. Is it um, too wide of a gap? Yes. Um, does it feel really solid? Yeah, I will say the hinge felt really good. And while I was constantly afraid that it was fragile, I will say it felt good. Um, one of the biggest disappointments I will say on the Galaxy Fold to me was they changed the way split screen works. Now this is to accommodate the triple thing, which I don't care about. And 90% of the users probably at least don't care about having three screens up at once. But what you couldn't do on the split screen on the device was you couldn't do this you couldn't slightly move it you couldn't slightly move it this way you had literally only a few moves you could do you could have it right down the middle and you could have it majority this side and majority this side that was the only way you could split screen on the Fold. And it's a bit disappointing to me because it was closer to what Google does than what Samsung does. And I feel like Samsung did that so more apps would work because they were following Google's rules. But in doing that, they made the split screen suck. Not as bad as Google's split screen sucks, but not as good as their standard Samsung phones typically do in split screen. App as far as split screen goes, in all of Android, um, and yeah, I, iPhones don't, I, iPads do really good split screen. 
Uh, but in terms of all smartphones in the market, Samsung truly has the best split screen, period. It's, it's intuitive in terms of how much and how fine tuned you can do it. And it wasn't that on the fold. That is a big disappointment to me. I, I just, I don't like that. I like to be able to fine tune it as much as I would like. And that is a big criticism that I would give Samsung on the Galaxy Fold that hopefully they fix on the Fold 2. Be a Samsung device, don't be a Google device, Samsung. Um, everyone telling me to sound good. What's up with the Microsoft and the latest announcement? Okay. The Microsoft announcement. I absolutely fell in love with the Duo or the Neo. Let me see. Um, I forgot which one was the bigger one and which one. So one of them is the bigger one and one's a smaller one. I think the Neo is the bigger one and the Duo is the smaller one, if I have that right. Let me look real quick. So the Neo is... So I think the Neo is the Windows device. Yeah, so the Neo is the Windows device and the uh, Duo is the, uh, what do you call it device? Um, the Android phone. So I will say this. I have long said that I don't see the point of a laptop that transforms into a tablet. I just don't see it because it just doesn't make sense to me in terms of you still can't fit in your pocket, so what's really the point? Microsoft completely changed my mind. That is such a good device. And a reason why I believe it actually does a better job than most is because of the aspect ratio. So I don't know what exactly the aspect ratio is of both screens, but they look like three by two. Um, or maybe four by six. But basically, the, the real reason why I think it's so good is because it looked perfectly the way I split my screens on my computer. It looked perfectly, just, I split screen it this way, I split screen it this way, and it looked so good. Putting it with a keyboard, you know, making a nice keyboard. Uh, this is what I'm currently reviewing right now. It's a new MX Keys, which I love. Um, but pair with a nice keyboard, pair with a nice mouse, and you really have a portable thing. Now, obviously this keyboard's too big, but something like that, like something, they would pair very nicely to it, and I'm really interested. I'm really, really interested. Um, I thought they did exactly what they needed to with the Surface lineup, brought Type-C, which they should have done last year. Not, not too late, still did it. I love the idea of the ARM processor one. I'm very curious if they're going to beat Samsung in pricing for their Book S because their Book S is starts at a thousand. I wonder if the Surface one will start around the same or will they charge more for it? I don't believe they released pricing on that one yet. Actually, let me check on that one. Surface ARM. arm based at least i can't see the pre-orders for that one i know they have pre-orders uh going for the pro already but as far as i know they don't have it for that one yet oh surface pro x that's what it was so the surface pro x is definitely one of the most exciting ones to me just because i love the idea of a ultra portable version and so it is also starting at a thousand dollars um i don't know if i would pick this one over um the 
So for $1,000, you get eight gigs and 120 gigs of storage. Not the best in that regard. You can bump it up to a 256 gig, but then you're at 1,300, which in my opinion, that's not worth it. Uh, they will also have a 16 gig of RAM version for 512 storage, but that is really ridiculous at a insanely uh, priced 1,800. I would not spend that kind of money for that kind of processor. The whole point is this sh should be a very lightly designed one. And yeah, I, I, for me, I think it's a little too much. I would wait for it to go down in price, but I love the concept. Always on tablet, always on laptop. The ability to last all day is really great. It's always connected uh, with an LTE band. So yeah, I love the idea of it, but it definitely should be priced lower in my opinion. I would say at 700 is where it should be priced at. But yeah, I think Microsoft hit it out of the park this year and I think they did very well. Anyone having problems with the Note 10 Plus? I already did an accidental touch thing and it still looks like it goes off uh, on its own in my pocket. And when it's on wireless charging, it does its own thing, opens the notepad, it's haunted. Try to uninstall recent apps you've installed. That might be the issue. Some app may be uh, kind of turning the display on. So try doing that. If it's launching a notepad and stuff like that, it seems like it's something's wrong with it. So yeah, uh, but I would try turning on safe mode uh, and seeing if you have those issues. If you don't have those issues, then it is what I expect and that is an app. Um, Huawei IPS LCD 1080 display or Xiaomi IPS LCD 1080 display, which is better? I would go by whatever they have better. Both of them are about the same, to be honest. Um, Xiaomi screen tends to look cartoonish, uh, like toy phone screen, would you think? I haven't really played enough with them uh, in terms of Xiaomi. Uh, I have done a lot of Huawei displays and never really had a problem with them, but yeah, I'm not really too familiar with Xiaomi displays. I don't think they make their own displays, but maybe they do. Thoughts, what if Apple made a uh, iPhone Note? I think they probably will next year with the uh, Pencil, and I think that's gonna be what they're trying to do next year. Um, will it be a success? I don't think having the Pencil on the back as their designs seem to show will be as big of a hit. So we'll have to wait and see. Get rid of Bigsby. If you have Bigsby on, that would be interested if that would be the issue. Did you enjoy Hell in the Cell uh, tonight? Uh, I, like most, thought the ending was complete BS. Uh, and I cannot believe they botched it and messed it up that bad. You can't have a DQ in a Hell in a Cell match. But yeah. I also thought Becky Lynch should have lost. Um, just so she can go to SmackDown, it would be great. Uh, yikes, uh, I'd bring it on and talk to Samsung. I had mine since release, no issues yet. Yeah, I would agree. I, I would definitely, yeah. I, I really would believe that if it doesn't, if it doesn't start acting up, I would get it fixed. Only problem I have is fingerprint unlocked isn't great. I still do have a screen protector on, but I did uh, set all my fingers with it on. Got it. Um, overall, I still think it's better without the screen protector, especially the built-in one, uh, but as long as it works. I like the wraparound display, uh, but not the price. Yeah, I don't think anyone likes the $3,000 phone price. Anyone sick of the spam on the Note 10? What spam? Sick of adverts. I don't get any adverts. Uh, you might wanna check if you have an app that's doing adware uh, or look for an adware detector to see if that is what's going on your ads. Um, so yeah, adware detector. Uh, AirPods remind me of uh, that movie, Something About Mary, like just, <laughs> just here for you. Uh, yeah. Have you heard of the uh, Raycon earbuds, I've seen a bunch of ads on them. No. Let's see. 80 bucks, so pretty inexpensive. Let's see, what's good about them? Isolation, six hours of playback, okay. Water resistance, 
Um, 24 hour battery life, which is okay. Nothing compared to these new ones I'm testing out. Um, okay. I, I honestly, the way I'm looking through the creatives right now, though, I would get those better. Uh, what up, everyone? What up, uh, Phil PH? Or PJ, sorry. Had to install Brave Browser, cured all the ads, but really should have uh, should have used a privacy browser. Got it. Would we'll love to review the LG wireless earbuds. All the celebs are sponsoring Raycons. Interesting. I am a security guard. I watch a lot of movies uh, at work uh, to keep me up. I need a new phone. Which is better, uh, 1080p LCD 6.9 inch or 6.4 a Super AMOLED display? The 6.4 Super AMOLED uh, display would be uh, better for the long lasting because you're gonna be, again, playing those videos all night. AMOLED is better at conserving battery life compared to an LCD and it's also smaller. So yeah, easily the smaller display with the AMOLED should be the one you should go with if you're concerned about making sure the battery life lasts all night during your shift. Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just flooded. Everybody drink. All right. Mini LED for Apple coming 2020 and 2021 before they go to micro LED I'm hearing. I've heard that. We'll have to wait and see if it's true. Uh, TCL is the main one doing the mini LED right now on their TVs. So we'll have to wait and see if it actually happens. I quite frankly don't think so, especially because the manufacturers in China with all the tariffs happening, I don't think Apple would do that. Just my opinion, especially because it almost costs as much as OLED, a little bit cheaper, but main problem with that is, is of course it's from China. So if the tariffs are still happening, it's not going to happen. Um, I'm not Vine was better. Yeah, TikTok will die out soon. I believe so too. I'm watching YouTube, reading a web page, and the video starts. Uh, and video starts for games to download. Drives me crazy. What the heck? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. It's 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 adware that you have for sure. For sure, you have adware. Uh, for example, I've searched uh, for glasses and sometimes I see ads on a website in Google Chrome. I do use VPN search to cut down. Oh, well, yeah, ads that like follow you are different. That is going to be from your web browsing. Uh, but yeah, if you use a VPN, uh, the ads won't track you. I'm not playing the Call of Duty mobile yet. I'm still on Mario Kart, but I do have a lot of people that, yeah, are playing it already. Would you suggest to change from the Note 10 Plus to the S11? And would you suggest to change from the Galaxy Fit to the Galaxy Watch Active 2? So, hashtag Dublin, hashtag South Africa. Um, so, one, can't really say on the S11 because I have no idea what the features will actually be. If it was the S11 that we talked about at the beginning of the show, absolutely 100%, no doubt whatsoever, change. It's not, which it's probably not going to be. Um, then I don't know yet. Uh, Galaxy Fit to the Galaxy Watch Active 2, definitely worth the upgrade in terms of battery life, in terms of uh, the ability to even answer the phone on your watch, which you can't do with the Galaxy Fit. Uh, it doesn't have a microphone. So yeah, it would definitely be worth it. Um... The Galaxy Fold has a lot of warnings for uh, when you first open the box. Yeah, I've seen those warnings. I have an S10 Plus. Should I upgrade to the S11 Pro? Uh, am I a picture? I am a picture nut. The Guys, we don't know what the S11 is yet. If it is the prototype that I was talking about at the beginning of the show, absolutely. Everyone should move to the S11. Everyone. Everyone. Since we don't know what it is yet, though. I would wait, since you can't buy it anyway. It won't be announced till like February. What do you think about the Microsoft Neo and Duo phone? 
I'm not impressed by the uh, Duo phone, to be honest. It's kind of like whatever, and especially because it's going to be a year from now. I think the Duo concept is really cool because there's not that many tablet laptop hybrids out. What there is gonna be a lot of by the end of next year is going to be foldable phones. And I would trust Samsung and other companies to do it better than Microsoft when it comes to that. Unless Microsoft offers me like free Office 365 for five devices, then I'll, then I'll think about it. Then I'll think about it. But it has to have a niche. It has to have something like that. Uh, Microsoft gives up on phones too fast uh, to trust them. Definitely a true statement for there. So when will you do a complete Note 10 Plus camera review like how you um, use it like a pro? I love to figure out um, how to edit my videos every time I do a video and disrupts my it disrupts my videos. I hate having to. Um, over so I like to figure out how to get two videos to merge them somehow. By the way, uh, what's the best camera holder in your opinion, like stabilizer, tripod? Um, the iGrip is pretty much the best handheld tripod I've ever used. It's really awesome. I really have to check out this, I think it's Stoppa or something like that, because I, 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 I like the GJI gimbal that I have. It's awesome. It's the best gimbal I've ever used. But everyone pointed me to this other gimbal when I reviewed it and everyone's like, no, this has everything the current one you, you're saying has. But not only that, it has an external microphone. It has wireless charging. And I'm like, well, dang, I may need to check this out. <laughs> so uh, I do not know yet on the current gimbal uh, part for it. Uh, in terms of complete camera review, I don't usually do a full camera review. I do how to set up the camera, uh, which I did that video already. Um, I have a lot of videos to do on the note. Um, so I fully apologize for that. I've slacked off tremendously, I feel like. So yeah, um, we'll have to wait and see, but there's definitely a lot that I need to for sure do. Um, so those videos will be coming. I still have to do 10 hidden features, which I haven't done, um, but Obviously having a kid and new job and everything definitely has taken its toll and time. So I will do my best to make sure that I get everything done the way it needs to be done. Um, Ricky, a Verizon Unlocked and Factory Unlocked Note 9, are they the same uh, bandwidth? Does Verizon use different ban uh, bandwidths other than T-Mobile, AT&T and uh, Use I need a Note 9. Okay. So Verizon Unlocked and Factory Unlocked Note 9, are they the same bandwidth? Yes and no. A, um, the Note 9 should be fine if you get it unlocked um, from Verizon because when you install the SIM card of the new carrier, that carrier's bloatware will then go on your device. Um, the factory unlocked Note 9 will not have that bloatware. However, though, um, it will have some issues, like AT&T apparently gives you issues with Wi-Fi calling on a uh, Verizon unlocked, uh, on a, no, yeah. On a Verizon unlocked phone, you wouldn't have that issue, but on a factory unlocked Note 9, you would have that issue. So overall, I would say it's actually better in that sense, if you're planning on going with AT&T as one of your options, that you would get a Verizon unlocked version because that would actually be better in this case. True or false, Apple is redesigning the next iPhone, getting rid of the notch, uh, finally letting me switch. Uh, I have a Note 9, I have a Note 8 and wanted an iPhone, but the notch is holding me back. Uh, Yes, apparently the next iPhone will get rid of the notch, it will have a redesign, and it will have a Type-C charger. So the next iPhone is gonna be well worth it. White Dome is the best. I do have White Dome on my uh, Note 10 Plus. I had an issue installing it on my wife's Note 10, but we did get a new one replacement and I will be doing that video soon. 
Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just flooded. Everybody drink. When I get an iPhone, I'm going to save up a lot of money and get me all up on the ecosystem, AirPods, all plus. That's a good way to go. If you're gonna go in, go in all the way. Has anyone else noticed how the Galaxy Buds got a lot louder and a punchier bass after a Galaxy Wear update a few weeks ago? By the way, the MPAL True Wireless Buds sound great at only 45. Nice. I've never tested out MPAL. Uh, except for like something they sent me a long time ago. Um, in terms of the Galaxy Buds, yeah, their updates have actually really helped out their overall quality. So I completely do agree with that. Um, hey Ricky, how close are we to getting 144 hertz with OLED? For a phone? Not close at all. Not close at all. Um, yeah, no. What happened to the Gear series? It went away for the Galaxy series. If you know more than you should about the S11, blink twice. Wasn't all the way blink. Um, Ricky, I need a camera for finishing videos that can strap to my chest for $300. Ah, uh, that is difficult right now. Because on the one hand, you have uh, the new GoPro 8, I want to say. Yeah, GoPro 8, which is 400. So a little bit more, but you can probably get the 7 for um, a cheaper price now. So yeah, you can get the 7 for around 300 now. Uh, but the main competitor to it would definitely be the DJI Osmo Action, which if I'm not mistaken, is about 300. So the Osmo Action would be the one I would recommend if you're gonna be vlogging with it. If you just want the best overall quality, I would recommend the GoPro. Uh, now, if it has a 10.0 version of 50 first state questions, uh, then you should totally pre-order the S11, that's true. Uh, what he's talking about is, of course, our weekly plug for our app, which, by the way, revenue on this app has basically doubled over the last month. So thank you, everyone that's downloaded it, because it's awesome. Now, when I'm saying doubled, it's still under 100 bucks a month by far, but uh, it's just it's a wow factor for me. So yeah, 50 first date questions. It is a really great game to play on a first date or even with someone that you've known for years. Literally, probably me and my wife play it every couple of years, every three to four years. We play it and our answers change. And it's really cool for a date night. It's definitely fun if you just wanna, hey, try something different and have some fun. I guarantee you it'll be a great date night if you download 50 first date questions. And apparently my viewers have stated several times that if you play this game on a date, you are more than likely to get another date after that. So, hey, if you want another date, make sure you play this game. All right, uh, let's get to the next question. Mate 30 Pro 5G or Note 10 Plus 5G? Until Mate 30 Pro really gets their stuff together with Google Apps, it's gonna be Note 10. And they've had their issues getting it on, getting it off, and it's just issues. Um, Ricky, uh, I have two things. First, I switched to Note 10 Plus from a Note 8, where uh, is a good place to see, is to sell the old phone. I don't know, I used to always sell on eBay, but their rates are getting ridiculous. It cost me over $100 to sell my iPhone uh, a couple weeks ago. That was just ridiculous. Uh, to sell the XS Max, like it, I forgot how much it sold for. I want to say it sold for like $800, but then it, it took over $100 in fees, so whatever. Uh, not very happy about that, so I don't know. Uh, where are some places you guys sell phones? Let me know in the comment section. Also, I use HP laptop dock uh, with the Note 10 Plus, works just fine, uh, makeshift laptop. Nice, um, really cool, laptop dock. Wait, lap dock? Is that like, just like, gives you a whole bunch of ports basically for it? I 
I don't know what this is. What is this? A lap dock. Go wired or wireless. Text talk run mobile apps on the HP Elite 3X. So is this like a... I'm backing a company that does something like this, which is called a Mirabook. Very interesting. I'm gonna have to look into this. A little expensive, but you can get it used for about 200. Normal price is 330 right now online. So this used to be for the Elite X, which was a Windows uh, phone. Interesting. I'm very curious about this. I will look more into it. You might have given me some good ideas here. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you for that, Joffrey. Um, has anyone put LED uh, notification LED on their uh, Note 10? center camera you can still add it with good lock it's pretty sweet just not bright enough uh yet i've honestly i haven't missed the blinking led because of always on display so that's just me but yeah i know a lot of people are interested in that i just i don't care because of that new apple military green opinions new color that you don't have yet so they can sell more uh, new color is always good, um, and green is always good. It's one thing I've been wanting. I wanted a jade green phone forever. Uh, I'm, that is one thing I'm very jealous of the Mate 30 Pro. That green leather, oh Jesus! Uh, but yeah, we will have to wait and see. Um, eye grip or shoe grip? I think it's called eye grip. Let me check. I grips z with the z if I'm not mistaken. No. Okay. Hold on, I will find this because I've ordered a few of them. So I will just look at my orders. I swear it has the word grip in it. I was way off. Um, so I will put it in the description right now. I should just show you guys too. This is the one that I'm talking about. It has an amazing grip. So it's I Gad Giz Gizzle. Yeah, I purchased this three times. Tells you how much I love it. So yeah, uh, really, really good. Um, I'll send you guys a link right now. But yeah, highly recommend it. There's the link in the description. Or not in the description, in the comment section. Ricky, once I bought the unlocked version of Verizon and tried to use it on T-Mobile, message was uh, said, Messages was not getting received. I told you to Verizon was using a different bandwidth if uh, I was to buy it now. Um, no, I mean, it should be fine now because for the Note 9, it should be fine. Years before that, it would have that issue, but from what I've gathered now, they don't have those issues with text messages anymore. Um,. The older versions definitely did. I think the Note 8 was the first one that didn't have that issue, and then every Samsung after that. But that's from memory. Um, but yeah, I believe it would actually be better that way. They did use have an issue with text message, namely multimedia text messages. They had an issue, but again, Verizon had to unlock it in order for that to be okay. Use OfferUp to sell your old phone. OfferUp gonna get you robbed, LOL. Uh, that, I don't like the meeting in person stuff. I just, I don't feel comfortable with it. What would you say the best smartphone is right now? How often uh, should some upgrade their smartphone? 
Someone should upgrade their smartphone every two to three years. I would say every two years is a good kind of middle ground. Um, I would say um, that the best smartphone right now currently is the Note 10 Plus. Thank you. I wanted it for doing my personal reviews. Uh, you're so very awesome. Thank you. Take a look uh, in the description. We have a Amazon page. Uh, it's an affiliate page where you can see all of the stuff that I use in this studio uh, electronic wise. So the cameras that I use, the, uh, the tripod mounts that I use, the remotes that I use, everything I use, the microphone I'm using right now, the microphone I use for other videos, everything is in there. So go ahead and check it out. Walmart usually has them phone booths uh, to get cash for older phones. I wonder how much they. Tr I wonder how much they give you. Um. Yes, we are out of time, guys. Getting that warning, the uh, stream time warning, aka don't get Ricky in trouble with the wife. Mad alert, especially when she has a newborn baby that she already takes care of most of the time. Uh, so yes, guys. All right. Uh, thank you as always so much for watching. Make sure to give a like, thumbs up before you leave. Uh, and yeah, going to get this cut right now. Subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.